In 2009, the small town of Wyndham, New Hampshire, opened its own high school for the very first time. Jared Cassidy, a former middle school music teacher, was named as band director and began building a concert band program with just 40 students. Since then, the Wyndham High School Concert Band has enjoyed phenomenal success, winning the Heritage Festival, an international music competition in New York City, in 2012. The following year, they won the Heritage Festival of Gold in Chicago. And in 2014, they were invited to perform at another festival in New York City, this time at Carnegie Hall. They then returned home for a stirring spring concert on their home stage at Wyndham High School. As a result of this meteoric success, Jared Cassidy has been nominated for a Grammy Award as the 2014 Music Educator of the Year. What's exceptional about Jared is his belief in the student as a whole person. While he cultivates wonderful music students, encouraging them to become the best musicians that they can be, he also successfully fosters his students to become responsible, respectful, caring young adults. And as a parent, that quality of teacher is invaluable. Jared Cassidy is that unique individual you don't come across every day. His enthusiasm, his high energy, his passion for music is contagious. He imparts to his students a love of music that's very apparent in their performance. When his music ensembles play, you can see it on his students' faces and you can hear it in the music that they make together. And that says it all. Not long after their Carnegie performance, Jared Cassidy spoke about the growth of the band, his proudest moments, the tremendous community involvement, and his wishes for his players as they head into life after high school. I've had so many proud moments with these students over these past five short years. I think the biggest one was when we were selected this year, we performed at Carnegie Hall, this national um, band and orchestra festival this past April. And it wasn't the actual performance that was the proudest moment, though I was very proud of that. But even more so, when we returned back to the hotel, I walked into the hotel, and as you walk up the stairs, there's a mezzanine that's set up behind you. So I go up the stairs, and all of a sudden I turn around, the students had already gotten there from the buses, and I turn around and they were all lined up, and there was the whole entire lobby area in the mezzanine erupted with this amazing sound of cheers and applause. It was in that moment, if I could freeze frame that moment, it superseded the music, it superseded Carnegie Hall. It was that connection of family, uh, that connection of just an understanding that we were all in this together. We reaped the benefits of all our hard work and for, one that, for that one moment, every single one of us, all of the 86 people there, plus the chaperones, plus the, all the community members that were there, we had that one interconnected moment that we just knew that there was nothing that was going to ever supersede or be better than this. That was definitely by far my proudest moment. One of the biggest challenges I've had is moving into a brand new high school. Wyndham High School was just built recently in 2009. I was the middle school band director in Windham at the time. With that move from middle school to high school came a big challenge. 
to develop expectations and policies and guidelines, which would really lay a strong foundation for our students. I address this by working with the students that first year. We started with just freshmen and sophomores, and I think we all collaborated together a lot that year to develop what are, the, what are their needs? What, what, what do they see as the music program? I don't, want to, I don't want to stress you out, but it sounds good. Here we go, D. And there was a paradigm shift from what needs to get done to what do we truly want to lay our foundation on. I use a lot of different methodologies. I think when you enter the classroom, you'll see the room filled with lots of energy. Oh, come on, stand up. The students know that I'm a very energetic person, and I try to engage every single one of them. I just go one, two, three. And I think that through that engagement, there's a lot of collaboration, a lot of discussion. There's a rare time that I'm telling them exactly what to do or what to, how to perform. John, outstanding. I want them to have that collaboration and communication with each other and with myself. There's a lot of groups, there's a lot of sectionals that go on, there's a lot of small ensemble learning. Um, we have student conductors, student leaders that get up in front of the band. I trust my student leadership in a way that they are able to take the reins, they have a good philosophy and idea of what they want their ensemble to be like, and that translates into how they work with their peers also. Each and every day though, when I come in here, I try to change things up as much as possible in order to keep them engaged, in order to make the students completely experience music, not just from their fingers and their mouths, but also from their whole being and their psyches. We all want to inspire our students each and every day. Not only inspire them to become lifelong learners, but to be passionate and to find passion in whatever it is that really truly interests them. I know, Jacob, but we love you. In turn, these students have inspired me um, as an educator to remain passionate about what it is I do each and every day. And I think that it's that synergy between the student and the teacher that allows for more meaningful learning to take place. <laughs> No matter what happens this afternoon, at least you did it. That's good. Um, it's always exciting when students come back to visit me after they graduate from high school. They come back and share their stories, and I'm, they're so excited about life and, and what they're learning. And it's those kind of stories that truly make my job worth it every single day. It's just being part of that journey. It's incredible. What have I talked to you guys about a long time ago? Uh, to give us a glimpse behind the scenes, the band graciously allowed our camera into rehearsal. Funnel, absolutely, Curtis. It's like, exactly like a funnel. So when you have that funnel, again, I'll draw a picture, again. Okay, okay. so again, it's your mouth. Okay. You have a funnel, again, a funnel brings all... There are no auditions for this band. Same exact thing here. When you have Anyone who wants to play, plays. Including one student that has never played an instrument before comes up and through that funnel, to the end of it, <coughs> the air comes together right there. Opening this will create a warmer sound. This Cassidy somehow that keeps that every player involved, so regardless of their level of experience. Okay, try that. Keep that in mind one more time. Here we go. Let's play the first chord of symphonia. I don't know everybody has that first note, but here we go. Ready? First note of symphonia. Two, three. <gasps> now, the goal is, can you try singing this on an ah? Open your mouth. As you sing this, here we go. Ready? Sing your part. Sing that note. Two, three. <gasps> Play it. Here we go. Play it. Nice even sound. Two, three. <gasps> Now, full ensemble, measure one. Here we go. Keeping that funnel idea going, keeping that whole entire triangle of balance going. Here we go, measure one. <laughs> Support from down here, okay? Again, your air fills in from the bottom. Two, three. <gasps>
Jared has had an incredible impact on all three of my kids. My middle son in particular is studying to be a music educator in large part because of the impact that Jared has made on his life. My son wants to make music be an important part of young people's lives, not just to teach them how to play music, but to teach by example, to enrich their lives with perseverance, dedication, focus, loyalty, teamwork, and the high standards that Jared has exemplified for him. As a freshman, my daughter was told by her older sister, if you do one thing right in your life, find a way to be under Mr. Cassidy's direction. Having heard so many things about him, she was inspired to join the band. Even though she had never played an instrument, she started in September and was instantly frustrated by the French horn. However, by the spring, Mr. Cassidy had worked his magic and she found herself performing at Carnegie Hall now loving her instrument and playing it with confidence and pride. I think what I try to do here at Wyndham High School is to provide our students with experiences that are going to motivate them to become lifelong learners. I want them musically to be provided experiences that are going to be genuine, that are going to be exciting and meaningful to them. I'll always remember when we were standing on stage after performing at Orchestra Hall and he mouthed, I'm so proud of you, I love you guys, with the biggest grin. After our trip and performance at Chicago Symphony Hall, I was very nervous after because I didn't think I performed up to my best, but before he shared with the entire rest of the band, he told me personally as we were walking back to join everyone that we had actually won the entire festival. So that made me feel so much better and confident about how I performed, and it just shows how Mr. Cassidy really cares about and supports the students in every way possible. The band program here is not just the Wyndham High School Band Program. I think that the town of Wyndham really embraces what it is we do here and wants to support us and help us along our journey um, without their constant support and excitement and energy that they have for our program. I don't think we'd be where we are today. Two words, Jared Cassidy. I, mean, I don't know how to answer that kind of question any other way than to say uh, the connection that he has with his students and to me, it doesn't matter whether you're a kindergarten teacher, a high school math teacher, you know, an eighth grade science teacher, when you have that type of connection with your students, the places that they go, the places that you can go together are, are outstanding. I had a really hard experience in college and I didn't know how to handle it. And I picked up the phone and instead of calling my best friend or my mom or my dad, I called Mr. Cassidy and I said, I have this choice to make and I don't know what to do. And he just stopped what he was doing and he talked me through it and by the end I felt like it was the easiest decision in the world because that's the kind of person Mr. Cassidy is. He takes things that look so difficult and so impossible and just makes them make sense and seem so conquerable and I am so endlessly thankful to have him in my life just because of things like that. When I attend performances of the Wyndham High School Concert Band, I close my eyes and I just listen. I listen to the sounds of what one might believe are talented, experienced adults, but then I open my eyes and I see Jared conducting children. 
my child and his classmates, and I smile in amazement at what this dedicated, loving teacher has brought to our youngsters. Simply amazing. Through these amazing opportunities and connections I've had with my students, the parents, the community, and also my colleagues, it's just been an amazing journey for me as well. worked with Mr. Cassidy for six years now and I realize now having graduated I realize that I may never pick up a set of drumsticks again or uh, you know play my beloved timpani but um, it's okay uh, I left on a good note and we did such a great job um, throughout the year and sure there's a lot of stuff that you can put on paper but I think the stuff like the intangible stuff the stuff uh, life lessons stuff like that that's why Mr. Cassidy should win the Grammy, because of all the life lessons he taught us. Malcolm Forbes once said, education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one. This is especially true and tricky in the teaching of music, through which the student must learn to allow her intelligence and creativity to flow from a place of non-thinking rather than from thinking. Tonight we honor a great opener of minds whose students learn not to think but to embody and contribute to the universal language of humankind. Please join me in welcoming to the stage music educator extraordinaire, Jared Cassidy. Jared. Wyndham High School, this is Senator Kelly Ayotte, and I'm so glad to be part of today's celebration in honor of Jared Cassidy. Congratulations to you, Jared, on being named the 2015 Grammy Music Educator of the Year. Jared beat out music educators from all across the country to earn this prestigious honor. Teachers like Jared make music come alive for their students, and if students are excited to learn and grow, the sky is the limit. The Music Educator Award recognizes teachers who have made a measurable difference in the lives of students and advanced the field of music education. Jared, you have certainly done both. Congratulations again on your recognition. You make New Hampshire proud. I would like to give an extremely heartfelt thanks to the Grammy Foundation and the Recording Academy for providing me with this incredible experience and honor. This has been a journey of a lifetime and I'm forever humbled. It comes down to one single statement, music matters. If we all take a moment right now to reflect back on our first experiences with music, I want you to think about the impact it had on you. Some of, you may, some of you may think about your first piano lesson or your first concert, your first song you sang or the first song that was sung to you. For me, when I was a child, it was my father playing boogie woogie on the piano as my brother and I danced around the living room. He probably did this because he was trying to tire me out with the sole purpose of trying to tame my uncontrollable energy. <laughs> it matters to those students who practice countless hours, who work to communicate beyond the notes on the page. It matters to those students that we find piling into our music rooms and our offices because we know that the relationships that we have with each other transcend any other kind of relationships that we have. It matters to the communities who understand that, that music is more than just an interest or a hobby, but that it has a significant influence on student achievement, self-esteem, and cultural awareness. 
It matters to our society as a whole, where its impact can be so huge that it can influence political and cultural landscapes. Finally, it matters to this little Asian man who, rem who remembers how much he struggled to fit in and just wanted to be part of something, that the band room at Salem High School was a place where he could authentically and genuinely free himself from the roller coaster of being a teenager. He found himself there along with the guidance and support from Mr. Clausen's kind and supportive words of encouragement. For him, he realized that music was not just an enjoyable activity, but that it has the power to change even the darkest days into days filled with hope and excitement. On behalf of the thousands of music educators and music programs across the nation, I cannot express our gratitude enough to the Grammy Foundation and Recording Academy for this recognition. For me, this amazing experience has been life-changing and something I will hold near and dear to my heart for the rest of my life. It's through your selfless support and advocacy that we are able to provide the most meaningful and impactful experiences possible to our young musicians. This is a tribute to our students and our programs and to making you a champion of something that means so much to millions of people everywhere. Thank you.